friends, welcome to this video. I'm excited to share um, my experience with the Dr. Penn microneedling kit and how I microneedle my skin at home. I just cannot bring myself to spend anywhere from two to $600 per treatment and I wanted to save money and see if I could do it myself. I'm gonna be doing some follow-ups along the way to see if this is actually making a difference in my skin, which I think it is. I've been noticing some small changes already, and I wanna keep documenting my journey for an entire year and see how it goes. You wanna start off by thoroughly cleaning your face, and I will actually wipe my face and clean it twice before I start the treatment and put on the numbing cream. I've had this charging. Um, this is the battery. I took it off, plugged it into the wall, I plugged it into the charger, excuse me, and I'm just screwing it back on there. And I have sterilized everything with this Clorox, with these Clorox wipes. I have also wiped my face, cleansed it really, really good, put a numbing cream on, and I've wiped off my numbing cream. All right, so I'm just gonna get some coconut oil and rub that on my face, and we'll get started. Right, and I like to start on my forehead first because the numbing cream tends to wear off there the first. And I'm going to be using a 12 needle gauge. a video on how this works and you just put this in the hole and then you'll just twist it on and then you all adjust down to 0.5. So I've got a, there you go. I don't know if you can see that. And you want to keep your face lubricated with whatever you're using. Let's get started. And I'm going to be looking in a mirror in front of me too, if I'm looking away. Oh, and my bad spots that I'm really working on are above my lip. I've got some lines starting above my lip. And then just right around my jawline, I want to kind of tighten my skin. This is my third time doing this procedure and I really like it. It takes about a week-ish my skin to heal from it completely and I'll go over some aftercare after I'm all done of what I've learned and what I do. Let's get going. And and when I do this I like to go in the direction that you want your skin to go so I want to pull upwards. I don't want to be dragging it down. I want to pull upwards and just go in lines and make it even. And I have to say, the numbing cream makes such a difference with this because I've done it when I haven't used numbing cream and then when I also haven't let it sit on my head long enough and it's not very comfortable. I wanted to give a little information on what microneedling actually is. It's also known as CIT or collagen induction therapy and it uses fine needles that will puncture the skin and cause a controlled injury to rejuvenate the skin. So that's how it helps to create more collagen and elastin in your face. When I do this to myself, I notice that my forehead and the bridge of my nose and above my lip are the major areas that will actually start bleeding. Everywhere else, it just gets really red. All right, I'm gonna start the side of my face now and you just wanna pull up like I was doing on my forehead and just go really slow and you don't want to go too close to your eyes. You can see where I'm stopping. That skin is very thin and fragile. For the best, safest, and most effective results, it's recommended to wait six to eight weeks between each treatment. If you do this treatment too early on, your skin is already damaged and hasn't healed completely before you start over again. And then I'll do the other side of my face. Um, I focus really heavily on my upper lip just because I'm trying to get rid of those lines that I'm noticing that are starting to form. 
Microneedling was explained to me by a nurse practitioner. She said that microneedling is like lifting weights for your face. So when you lift weights for your muscles, you're breaking down your muscle fibers and they have to rebuild themselves. Same thing here, you're breaking down your skin so that it's gotta repair itself and it becomes stronger in the long run. Microneedling is also good for hair growth as well as treating acne scars. You can also microneedle your lips to create a fuller, plumper lip. I'm not sure what it is, but when I microneedle around my eyebrows and my nose, it makes me want to sneeze. The whole procedure takes me about 25 minutes and that includes the time that I let the numbing cream sit on my face so it's not a super long treatment and I'll usually do mine before I go to bed. forehead and the bridge of your nose. I should have done the bridge of my nose after my forehead and I just didn't even think about it. You can see it's like a mild sunburn so what I'll do is I'll take a baby wipe. I'll just lightly wipe my face off and just be so gentle with your skin. You don't want to pull at your skin. Afterwards, I am going to put this hyaluronic acid. I don't know if that focused or not. Um, I'm going to put this hyaluronic acid serum on my skin. It's safe and it's really good for you. So I know there's other things you can do. I think you can put aloe vera and like hydrocortisone cream if your skin is like really sensitive. Mine's pretty good with this. Like I said, this is my third time and I've I've, I've, it's handled it pretty well, so I'll just rub this on and I do believe you could actually microneedle with hyaluronic acid. I'd have to verify, but I think you can. But your skin will just feel like a mild sunburn for one to two days afterwards. Other than that, it's really not that painful as long as you've got a good numbing cream. <laughs> That's the trick. That's the key to this. I don't know if I could stand it without numbing cream. The rest on my hands, which isn't gonna waste. And then afterwards, you just want to Try not to wear any makeup if you can for like 48 hours and use a mineral sunscreen just so it's light on your skin and sunscreen is definitely important. But yeah, that is my microneedling experience and how I do it. And if there's anyone out there that's really proficient in this and I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. And I just realized I forgot to put my gloves on so don't follow my example. Always wear protective gloves and just be very sterile. I will do a follow-up in probably two weeks and let you see how my skin is looking after two weeks of this. And then in a month I'll do another update and so you guys can see this, see the results because I have noticed results. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope if any one of you buy a microneedling pen and uses it, let me know how you feel. If you like it or don't like it, I would like to know. Anyway, thanks guys. Bye.